Hello, this is Croak. Welcome back. It's another beautiful day to place, uh, <laughs> Banished, not Subnautica. Uh, we are going to keep playing Subnautica, but today it's Banished. Uh, when I left the end of Episode 1, um, I actually fell asleep at my computer because I was really tired. And my people of the town kept working and having babies and all sorts of things and now we have <laughs> 10,000 food which is awesome it's gonna make things so much easier uh, also when I got back all of their tools were broken there was no clothes so I added uh, I made a bunch of tools off camera and clothes man they're going through tools like crazy we're gonna have to make some more of those but also there, uh, th there's two indicators of uh, your town, average happiness and average health. Their health was really low after, I, after they were left to themselves for uh, an hour or two. So to help with, or no, their happiness is the one. Well, yeah, their health and their happiness. Uh, there's a couple things that have helped with health. And one is a herbalist. So we made one of those. And they're collecting herbs. Yeah, 42 herbs. Now for happiness, uh, there's a couple things. Uh, education. Uh, actually, we had a school last time, but I, I ended up moving it. And it's right here. This little tiny building is a school. Two students. And a church which has 22 members and a cemetery. They really like to visit their dead. And apparently we lost 14 people uh, while I was gone. So <laughs> now they can come visit them in the cemetery. Uh, let me see, what else? I think that's about it. We added, oh, I added a blacksmith when they were running out of tools. And I, I'm pretty sure we had the tailor going last time. If not, well, now we have a tailor. Now we have more houses. But everything else is pretty much the same. Um, the ship is still over here and it's completely full of stuff. Uh, I would imagine we probably have... Actually, let's look in here. Yeah, a bunch of reeds. I, I had this guy making rope, which he makes out of reeds. It takes a lot of reeds, though. I think it's like 60 for each rope. And what we need rope for is to upgrade these houses. Um, right here you see, upgrading to a dock residence will provide extra living space for up to six people as well as better warmth and comfort. So basically better warmth means that it will use less firewood. Um, oh wait. Whoa, our storage. <laughs> Yeah, they were busy. They filled up the barn, and they're stacking stuff out front. So I think the first thing we're going to do is build another barn. Uh, let's take a look. Could make another... Wait, is that a... That's the large storage. Let's look at the regular barns. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, small barn. Storage barn. Come on, game. We're paused. Don't lag on me. Oh, magazine. This thing's awesome. But it requires three... I can't remember what those are called, but we don't have any. Old barn, no. Green. Get into these complicated things and they get kind of crazy. The parts they need. Wait, distribution barn? No. I think we're going to make a. Hey, what are these? Lean to. Specialized warehouses. They all require that thing we don't have. 
sellers. No, not market. Let's just make a storage barn. And we are going to put this... Uh, I think we're going to be expanding this direction, so let's put it right here. Turn it that way. Right next to that other... Put a little gap between them. Okay, let me start... Start playing again. Oh, what the hell? All of our people are doing other stuff. Well, I'll tell you, reeds needs... We got three reeds going. Stop two of them. Put two on building. What else we got? Uh, we got the guy making tools. Yeah, we need those. Those tools are really low. Market. Yeah. See the lumber guy. He's actually stopped. We got a good n amount of lumber, yes. Which we will need to make the, um, the, the little trading thing, which I'm probably going to put right here. Let's get that going. Farm supplier. There we go. I ain't gonna go here. Maybe this way. There we go. Get that going. What do we have all our people on? Oh, wait. Let's see. We got one laborer, two builders. One blacksmith, one cleric, uh, fisherman, dredger, that's the, this little thing here. Oh, three gatherers. Oh, they're on food. And we got plenty of food, so let's not gather down to one. Herbalist. Now we got a little stock going there. Okay, Hunter, I'll knock him down to one for now. Bender, oh that must be this guy here. Yeah, you know, I'm not even, I really don't understand the, vent, the market people, but apparently they serve a purpose. I think what they do is they, uh, I think they take food and put it in the houses or something. Or, you see all these houses have a little inventory. And they got firewood and food. And what people do is when they're working, they'll go to their house to get food. And if they don't get food there, then they start wandering all over the place looking for it. Which is really annoying. So, the market, I think the market, they go to the market second. Okay, gatherer's hut, hunting cabin, yeah, we're getting a lot of good food there. We'll just watch our food. If it gets down, like, below 5,000, we'll have to do something. I, I'm so glad I had them gathering stuff when they, when I fell asleep, because, uh, we probably have, let's see, yeah, 1,000 iron ore, nice. Uh, stone, 805, not bad. So uh, let's see here. Let's see if we're actually building. 
Okay. Let's move builders up to four. We'll leave the laborers on two. Get them doing some stuff. start having some kids is what we need. <laughs> Actually, you know what we need to do is get a town hall. Yeah, once we build a town hall, we will have the opportunity to get what are called nomads. And they are just random people. You know, it's funny, you can go all over this map and not see another person walking around. But once you get a town hall, uh, these groups of people show up and they want to join your town. And it's pretty awesome. Um, but then you run into, you know, 30 people showing up and they all need a place to live and, uh, So, you know, I should, <laughs> I have the ability to flatten that mountain. I'm going to try not to, uh, but yeah, it's kind of annoying. Let, let's see, let's put a, at least get this, wow, that's big. It'll fit right there, nice. Let's drop that. Yeah, once you choose one, then you gotta unchoose it, or it'll keep following your mouse around, want you to place it. I'm gonna pause this. We are gonna finish this one, so they can start putting food away, and then we will start working on this, hopefully. Hey, what else did I build? Oh, this thing here. Pause that too. We'll get them all working on this. Because this will get us more people. So let's. Uh, where's that? Increase priority. the nomads show up, they freak out if you don't have a place for them to live. So there is a boarding house. Provides a temporary place for the homeless to live. Yeah, look at that big old thing. You know, there's also an old boarding house which is the same, but it looks run down. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go with the regular one. And we'll put it right next to the uh, right next to the um, town hall so they won't have to go far. Actually, we'll leave a gap there. Another, make the road a little wider here. Let's see, they're bringing logs over.
thing about roads, man. Wherever you put roads, they get on that right away. If you try to remove a road, they'll take the sweet time. But when you place a new road, uh, people come running from all over to pound those out. Yeah, I'm sorry about the choppiness. I'm trying to look over at my screen. It uh, it doesn't do that. The the little the way things kind of hop, or there's a little pause when they walk or something. It doesn't do that for me. It only does it when I'm recording, which sucks. Uh, oh, update on the new com the upgrade. My new processor is here. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately. I need to update my BIOS, which, you know, I built the computer myself. Uh, it's been a long time since I've actually built one. Uh, I may be a little out of practice. Flashing a BIOS was really simple back in the day, and it actually is still simple. It's an old motherboard, and <laughs> it has an auto flash option, but you need a floppy drive to do it. And, I don't know, a couple years ago I thought, I had these old floppy drives, and I'm like, I'm never going to use these again, so I threw them away. And now I see that I need one. <laughs> so, uh, I, actually, when, when I first got the chip, I put it in, and my motherboard wouldn't recognize it, so I popped it out. Fortunately, the old one, it, it was only in there for a little amount of time. I had enough thermal grease in the little packet that came with it to get the old one coated back up and put in. And now I can't put the new one in until I get some more grease. So I ordered some of that. It'll be here tomorrow, I think, uh, which is Wednesday. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to get it and get the BIOS updated with a floppy drive which I was able to source from an old computer and hopefully it'll help. Uh, no promises, it's not a huge upgrade but I gotta imagine a little bit would make a big difference. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Yeah, they're starting to fill that up. Uh, anybody building over here? Got the logs, got the stone. Just need to haul lumber over. This one, I'm going to pause it. Thing is, if we get a bunch of nomads, we can put them to work right away to finish building this. But I do want to have it ready to go. See, how's our Fisher flag? Or is that an auto save? Oh, it's an auto save. See a little wheel up here? That means it's saving. Okay. Wait, how are the fishermen catching herbs? I have no idea. These guys are all reeds. This guy should be getting crayfish, mussel, seaweed, oysters. Occasionally they get pearls too which are not anything amazing, but, yeah, 20 pearls. Once we get the, uh, the trading set up, we can trade the pearls for other stuff. Oh, that, let me look at that. There is a icon chart. Okay, yeah, building supplies. That's the thing that all the fancy buildings need. Of course, there are so many crazy fancy homewares, fancy homewares. Whenever I've played before, I've never used those. <laughs> it's, uh, you, you gotta, you gotta have a pretty hefty population to start getting into that stuff, because it takes a lot of people to make all that stuff. But, we got lumber, uh, building supplies I can make 
and we will make eventually, but it takes a lot of things to do. You gotta have, uh, you gotta make bricks, and then you gotta make, uh, like, some kind of fuel from a, this weird forge thing. And we will get into that, but we need more people before we can consider that. Okay, people, how we doing? What? Oh, people are getting old. That's not good. Uh, there's a new child, Wyatta, from a... <laughs> Hopefully, this 11-year-old is not the father with the 28-year-old mother. Uh, well, you know, back in olden days, that might have been normal. That's a little better. Oh, we have an empty home. A uh, 74 year old teacher. Hey, you know what? Mela and Arthurford, you two should get together and stop wasting twice as much firewood. Herbalist. Boy, there's a lot of a lot of bachelors here. Single people. You know, I thought the church would make y'all get married, but apparently it's just giving you, uh, <laughs> guilt trips all the time. Uh, let's see. A little road in front of your church. I guess we can't do it in front of the school. Oh, what the hell? Looks like the town hall's made. Let's get this going again. Oh wait, did a... Oh, a builder died. We lost our laborer. I'm gonna try to keep one of those. Let's throw the... priority on here. get another route over to the old ship. I actually need to get rid of the ship, but we'll get to that later. It is a small storage that we can use. Man, that barn filled up quick. Okay, let's see, what are we... Hauling logs over, not bad. Get the stone over here. We got plenty of stone, I can see it right there. 609. Logs. Don't have a huge amount of logs. And actually, you know what? We need to start thinking about our farms once we get that up and running. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the farming on this side of the river. So we're going to start clearing this out. So actually, let me get back over here. I want to stop all the tree stuff over here. 
Stop removal task. Wow, we had a bunch of removal lined up. <laughs> okay, so all that is gone. Let's get back over to the town. Let's get a let's see a stockpile on this side of the river. We're going to start clearing over here. We're saving again? Jesus, what do we save every five minutes? Start with trees. And then come back with stone and iron. show up to request citizenship, we'll get a notification, and I will jump over here and hit allow. And once that happens, things will start to take off. I know it's going a little slow right now, but things will certainly pick up. each other doing the same thing. Oh, are we done? Close you. Yes, okay. Let's get this built so we can get the farm stuff going. Looks like we got some more laborers. The kids are growing up. That's good. I'm gonna drop down to two builders. So these guys can get building or get harvesting over here. And then we'll start getting a couple uh, farm fields laid out and maybe a couple animal pens. running at 5x. Uh, that's a, it's usually what I like to run it most of the time. If you do 10x, things can go bad really fast. <laughs> and actually, you know what, we probably need to start thinking about making a hospital too. Because as the town grows, things tend to go horribly wrong. So let's see. Town services, health and healing, hospital, city hospital. I think we're going to go with the regular one first. We will 
put it right next to the herbalist, which is probably a good thing. I'm going to pause it for right now. Hopefully no diseases befall us. But basically, once we get this uh, little trading farm supplier made, uh, little boats will start to come up the river, and they will dock here, and they will have various animals and seeds they will like to sell us. Now, the thing about the seeds are really expensive. I mean, uh, like... I think they're like two to five thousand whatever credits or whatever money they use in here. Uh, all the things we produce has a value. Um, reeds are basically a value of one each, but they're so easy to get that most of what I trade for comes from reeds. Um, the pearls are like ten each, so we'll use those. There's another thing called, let me see if we have any, it's called domesticated animals, and we do not have any yet. That's something, they're worth 250 each. <laughs> if you can get some of those, they're awesome. I think the Forester is what gets those somehow, I'm not sure. We definitely need to get one of those going soon. Of removal going on over here. Oh, this thing is getting moving right along. Let's go down and watch the guys build this. Oh, you know what? We're gonna. Well, I'm gonna wait till they build it before I put the road in because they'll stop building it to make the road. getting nice and toasty in here. It's actually around 2 a.m., but it's 80 degrees outside, and <laughs> I decided to turn my air conditioner off while I'm recording, because if you watch my, uh, well, actually, I don't know if that Subnautica video has aired yet, but in my Subnautica video, it was too ridiculous. It was like 105 degrees outside, and I had to run the air, and you would can definitely hear it in the background. So I try not to talk very much. Pound saw, pound saw. What? Only 11 to go? Where are you people going? Let's see, we can track them. Oh, wait. There used to be a button here to see who the workers are. Oh, it's this one. Oh, we're all set. I gotta put one person in here. Let me uh, get them going on this barn again. And then here we gotta decide what we want to trade. So, um, I know I wanna put 5,000 reeds. Five hundred pearls. 
we have a lot of. Let's look at the inventory over here. Don't really want to give up food. Man, I hate to. Oh wow, we're really getting the tools going. I'm actually going to stop the blacksmith for now. Uh, let's see. Lumber. I don't want to give up much lumber. But let's put a little bit in here. A hundred lumber. And we can, uh, if we go over to trade, we can actually see what this stuff's worth. Reeds one, pearls ten, lumber four. Give it a hundred firewood. Firewood is also four. Uh, it makes sense since this thing makes both lumber and firewood. Uh, most of the food items are one. I don't want to give up any clothes. I think we have a bunch of that, don't we? Boom, oh, 66, nope. No, that's not going to do much for us. Let's see what venison and roots are. Venison one, roots one. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, that that'll work. Now if we zoom out, if we go up river, we might be able to see a boat headed down here. I wonder if he goes around this whole pond. I bet he does. Well, let's follow the river back. Well, that's where it starts, unless he comes up one of these old tributaries. going the wrong way, and he comes up from this direction. But I doubt it. I guess he just hasn't been released yet. Okay, they got this done. They're starting to stack some stuff up. Tear down some trees. Nice. I guess our builders are done with that second barn. Good. Let's start working on crop plots over here. Huh, crop plots. So used to arc. Let's get some road action.
that's our dividing line. field and I believe there's a certain I believe 11 by 11 is the perfect size that one person farming and harvest in one season so 11 times 11 is what one God, my math terrible. 10 times 11 is 110, 121. So, ah, uh, let me get that out of here. I think it, you can also go, what, 6 by, what is it, 6 by 18? about the same thing. Wait, 6 by 18 would be 12 by 12. Maybe 12 by 12 was the size. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna do this. Make a couple 6 by 18s. there just to get things started and then we will put some I don't know if we'll get crops or animals first so let's make a standard pasture which unlike crops you can make as big as you want although there is a limit I think it's 30 by 30 or something smaller pasture in case we get something like chickens. I'm gonna put it over here. That'll give the boys something to work on. Oh, we need to get that hospital going eventually too. But let's see, what do we got? Two builders, five laborers. Maybe put some more hot road action in here.
tree out of the way. Okay, tools and coats looking good. Uh, we got 5,000 reeds already, nice. I think I'm gonna up that. Uh, apparently 9,999 is the best you can do. be able to buy stuff. I always put a road down here too. Yeah, it's funny when you trade for animals, it puts them in this little pen until you move them over to their field. <laughs> and they won't take the roads. They will jump the fence and walk across the river. Where is my traders? Oh, here we go. There's one right there coming in. Hard to tell that he can carry uh, like 10 cows on that little boat, <laughs> but they frequently do. Yeah, I know it looks like the bridge he's not going to be able to get under, but he's pretty awesome. Yeah, just go right through those sport beams. Ding, ding. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Eight chickens. We'll take them. And we will give you 3,200. Well, let's give you all the pearls first. Another 2,940. We'll give you this bone mill. firewood and our lumber okay 2080 you know actually we could just take half these chickens and they will grow and reproduce actually you know what I think I'm gonna do that
trade. Let's see what let's see what we want to add. I know we want some sheep. Uh, actually, you know what? We ought to add all this stuff because eventually we will want it all. Yep. Save again. There we go. And thank you, sir. Where are my chickens? Oh, they're all sitting right on top of each other. Right there. Do we have a pen ready yet? No, we do not. Okay, it's time to make some priorities. multiple times helps or not, but we're going to imagine that it does. And look at that. Lots of people coming over to help out. You know, <laughs> uh, I, there, there's a cheaty way to make this happen quicker, but I'm not going to do it. Actually, what I am going to do, I'm going to hop this up to 10x, and hopefully nobody gets sick. seems like when you're going 10x that people are more likely to contract an illness for some weird reason. You know, I hope when you guys pick this stuff up you're putting it right here and not carrying it across the river. going people they going over the barn what do we got in here tools maybe two other piles of rocks. Alright, and then get logs 
from right here to right there. There you go, buddy. Nice. 10, 20, 28, 38, 48. Nice. Now start building. chickens are starting to spread out. Okay, so now we will add one worker. We will add chickens. And there we go. Now all the chickens should head over this way. Have you ever wondered if chickens can swim? <laughs> they might. I don't know if the farmer is going to come pick them up or what. But they should start moving over there. Come on, chickens, move it. <laughs> wow, come on. The episode's almost over. I want to see you go over to your new pen before I leave. Well, hopefully I can watch the chickens go over there before we end this episode. But, um, we are going to get these crops. Uh, I'm going to let it keep running. Oh, wait, here they go. Looks like they're going to swim. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yes, chickens. Why did the chicken cross the stream? to get to his pasture. Okay, and they will start making eggs, and we will have even more food. Uh, they will reproduce until there are 24 of them in here. We can move this slider. Like if we ran out of food and I wanted to butcher a bunch of chickens, I could slide this down. Uh, but we're gonna, since we have a nice stockpile of food, Hopefully we will let them fill up, have a nice stock going. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode of Banished. Um, like I said, I'm going to let it run. Hopefully they will get this other pen made and these crop fields going and also clear out a bunch of stuff. Uh, I would... I would like to show, I hope nomads don't show up. <laughs> Actually, I really want them to, so I don't, maybe I'll just let it, the recording keep going, and if they show up, I'll be able to add that in at the end, but just in case, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Croat. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I know that it seems this seems kind of slow starting out, but once we get a lot more people going, things will really start to pick up. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.